Welcome to our latest A-Sun basketball preview. We head down to Jacksonville to check out how the Dolphins are faring. And joining us, their head coaches, Tony Jasik and Darnell Haney. And on the players' side, Alexis Pierce from the women's team, Corey Romick and Derek Flowers on the men's side. Thanks very much for joining us. Let's start with the coaches and find out how you guys are faring and what have been the greatest challenge here in a COVID world. Darnell, why don't you start? Well, it's been extremely challenging. Uh, we, we When we left... In March, uh, we hadn't seen the girls, of course, just like everybody else. We didn't get a chance to see them again until uh, July. And once they got here in July, we got a chance to um, do our quarantine. And then after the quarantine, we got a chance to do some one-on-one -on -one workouts, get a little bit of our system in. And then we've been going ever since. Uh, the challenge has been we haven't been able to just, I, I got a very, social team so they want to you know have that social connection and that social connection has been more virtual throughout these last couple months but it's been good we've been working through it and i think we've been getting better through doing that tony yeah you know i think uh you know darnell said it well i think uh for for us i think our university uh our university leadership has done a really good job of uh, of navigating this this time i think our players have done uh, a really good job of uh, handling their business the right way, uh, even though it's a different uh, different way now and a different norm. Um, but, you know, I really um, am, am complimentary to the way our, our people have handled everything. Uh, it's been pretty, uh, pretty seamless, and uh, we look forward to hopefully uh, it continuing to, to go the way it has uh, here at JU over the last few months. Alexis, as a student athlete, what's been the greatest challenge for you getting through all of this? And you're one of the examples, one of the more veteran uh, players on your team. Yeah, just like Coach Haney said, just we're a really social team and we like want to get out and, you know, get out, get out in Jacksonville, but we can't. Uh, so we've basically have been having the same virtual classes have been a little difficult being that we've most of the majority of the time is on a, um, you know, on a virtual call. But for the most part, I feel like we're adjusting well um being on the court and in the classroom as well Corey, derek give me a, an idea of what it's been like for each of you in terms of the challenges uh obviously a very unique environment yeah it's been been very difficult but uh i think we've had you know a great support system with our coaches academic people and just everyone on our campus just helping us out um but you know just adversity hits you know you just got to keep pushing through so it's it's been good though Yes, I agree. It's been uh, a few adjustments that we need to make with classes being online. You just need to uh, stay ahead of your work. And uh, and with basketball, I just need to remember to be mindful of others and wearing a mask uh, walking through campus. But um, I believe that we do have a great support system with our uh, coach, with our coaches, and they're uh, doing a good job to prepare us for the future. On paper, it looks like you guys have pretty young teams. Uh, what have been the greatest challenges of trying to teach um, with a lot of new players or inexperienced players as you go through this? Darnell? I'll answer that one. Um, the big thing is with the new players, just implementing how we do things and what we do uh, has been quite challenging because of the – you only got you got a chance to get maybe one or two players at a time when we we initially started. Um, if you get uh, those those extra time, you don't know what's going to happen. So when I, when I'm saying that, you may have um, a kid out sick, or you may have a kid that um, had a concussion, or anything that's different than it would be in the regular regular in a, in a regular realm of things. So we weren't able to bring them in initially bring them in and watch film. We had to watch film over, over Zoom. Um, just that personal touch, I just think it, it is, is different for our, our kids. Um, it's just like being in the classroom virtually is different. I got a daughter at home and she was at, she was in virtual school for about three months, right? So she's been in virtual school for three months now. And, you know, it was taking a toll on her. So I know it's taking a toll on my team. And it's taking a toll on our team not being able to have that social connection, not being able to actually see somebody um, and, and feel what they feel when they're 
relaying the information to you. I think that's one of the biggest things. Tony? You know, I think um, with with our situation, we, we've relied on uh, our seniors. I mean, it's no, it's, it's not by accident that Derek and, and Corey are with us today. Um, I think their, their leadership and um, the, the fact that they have been through uh, multiple seasons with, with our staff, with kind of what we're trying to do has really helped. Um, but, but our transition, you know, we have, we may be a young team, but we got a lot of guys back. Uh, we had a few guys sitting out um, who, who, while they didn't play last year, they were around and kind of understand what, what the expectations is. So I, I think that our, uh, our transition throughout all of this uh, has gone pretty smoothly. Um, you know, the biggest, and, and, and Darnell uh, hit on this briefly, you know, the biggest challenge is the film piece. Uh, not being able to get, you know, all 15 guys and, and coaches in a film room uh, and go over, uh, you know, go over video. Uh, it's all done now, either one-on-one -on -one or in small groups or spread out. And, and so just managing that, I think, has been um, kind of the most unique piece for us because the, the rest of it, uh, from a basketball standpoint, has gone, has gone pretty smoothly. Alexis, what has it been like for you as kind of a senior leader? Because you've probably got some new players who need to be coached up. And what kind of role have you played in kind of helping the team grow? For me, I just been, I've just been trying to help, like, as much as I can. Um, I've been here all four years, and I kind of know the gist of what Coach Haney wants from um, his program. So just being an extra voice to um, our newcomers and our freshmen that we have, it's, it's difficult, like I said, just – just coming in a different world that we're in now, having to do everything virtual. But as far as for me, just being a leader and using my voice to 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 tell them what it, what he wants and what they need to do to help our team be better. Derek and Corey, what what do you guys see as, as your role? Because you guys did not have a ton of time on the floor, but now you're taking obviously a strong leadership role. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, helping off the court is the biggest way, you know, we have kind of just implemented the culture to the new guys and, and uh, just kind of bringing everyone together. I think that's, that's what really makes a team. I think we've been able to come closer, especially in these COVID times when, you know, that social interaction isn't, isn't there. So all you really got is your teammates. So that's been great. So. Yeah, we've been uh, working on, you know, just controlling the controllables, uh, uh, win, lose, or draw, we are doing the, the best that we can to put ourselves in the position to make the, the best play and the smart play. Um, and so, yeah, I've, I've been trying to work with all of our new guys to just make sure they get the concepts and uh, and they're, they're learning uh, pretty fast and picking it up well. So to the coaches here, who do you guys see as your – you've lost some big scores from a year ago in terms of point production. Who do you guys see as your, your guys who are going to produce in terms of offensively and then what do you think are the strengths of each of your clubs this year I would say we're looking for uh, I call our AP we're looking for Alexis Pierce and Jada Perry to come in and bring that senior leadership and do the things that they do we also um, bring Aaron Wilson back and we're looking for Aaron Wilson to do great things for us we got some newcomers that can play uh, we got some um, really quick guards and our quickness and our athleticism and our just stick to itiveness is, is one of the things that I'm I've been proud of over the over the past couple months and I think we're going to be solid because of that the athleticism the quickness the being able to get up and down the floor like we want to play and play JU basketball the way we want to play I think it's going to help us win some ball games win a lot of ball games so that's what I'm excited about. Tony? Yeah, I think our, uh, our, our situation may be a little bit different than, uh, than Darnell's. I'm excited about the, the, the collective group that we have. I think that we've got uh, a pretty uh, diverse group. I think we've got a pretty dynamic group. Um, and I do think we have a, a, a handful of guys that can stretch the floor. So uh, I would anticipate us going into the year um, where, where our greatest strength is, is in our numbers. And we've got a lot of guys that I think can contribute in, in different ways. Um, and, and for us, the biggest, the biggest key is going to be a embracing that. Um, and then also uh, continuing to play together, uh, continuing to be, uh, you know, we talk about it all the time, being unselfish 
uh, until your opportunity to be selfish arises. And you know, understanding uh, one another's strengths and, and putting them all together, uh, I think is going to be the real key for us to have a nice year. Uh, but I'm excited about our group. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Alexis, give me a, a name of a player or two that maybe the A-Sun is not familiar with now that's new to your club that you think people are going to be talking about by year's end. Sure. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows Aaron, Aaron Wilson. She's not new to our team, but she's 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 definitely a go-getter. She's a baller um, that the A-Sun really needs to look out for uh, this coming year. Um, Jada Perry, uh, we got – actually, we have a lot of great – players on our team that can do a lot of different things. Um, we have uh, Deshari as well, a quick guard. We have a lot of a lot of awesome players on our team. I can't really single out um, everybody, but we have a lot of people who do, do, who do different things that uh, bring our team together and who can score the ball. So I, I think the A-Sign needs to look out for JU women's basketball all together. Corey, Derek, what do you guys think about your group right now? I think coach said it best. I think we've got a lot of guys who can, you know, contribute. And uh, I think our strength is in our numbers. Um, so I think, you know, you got guys coming back like Mo Arnold and Tyrese Davis who, you know, are, are stepping up and becoming that next step. But we've got a lot of role players around them that I think can make this team uh, great. Yeah, uh, we've got a lot of interchangeable parts uh, with our team. Uh, we've got uh, Kevion Nolan, uh, and he hasn't played a son yet, so I think he's going to uh, do well this year. Um, we got Mo coming back, and we also we also have Don Terrius James. Um, and I think uh, we have a lot of supporting cast members who are ready to take up uh, their role and get to winning some games. We wish all of you a whole lot of luck this year from the Jacksonville women's side, Darnell Haney, and uh, one of his seniors, Alexis Pierce, and also on the men's side, again, Corey Romick, Derek Flowers, and head coach Tony Jasek. And that's a look at Jacksonville basketball. Thanks for joining us for our latest A-Sun basketball preview.